Welcome back. Uh, heavy lifting from Boulevard to IPA, uh, West Coast style. Right there, if it'll focus. Um, 5.9% AD IBUs listed on the can or a bottle, I'm sorry. No brood on date, nothing. I got this out of a multi pack today. Uh, May 18th, 2021. Here's our untapped. Six point two percent. Five point nine percent on the bottle. Right there. This beer is no longer being produced by the brewery. Uh, this was just put in to Walmart where I bought this in a multi-pack but yet in the gray right there no longer being produced heavy lifting is our newest year-round beer year-round beer based on our popular test uh, tasting room Beer Mid Coast IPA. Mid Coast IPA. Hope you guys can read. Uh, among this is a favorite among hop heads for its big bold hop presence. I'll be the judge of that. Haven't had this yet, by the way. Uh, exploding with flavor and a huge helping of. Five remarkably zesty and piney hops, Centennial, Citra, Amarillo, Topaz, and Cascade. Boulevard, Boulevard, Boulevard. So I'm guessing they ran out of base. They had a base of something else and said, you know what? YOLO. And really, based on the untapped 6.2, oh yeah, I'll say that's an IPA, for 5.9%, that is a pale ale. I mean, you could be a strong pale ale. Uh, please enjoy by July 31st, 2021. I'd rather see a bottle on date, especially being a IPA. Um, you could have brewed this shit a year and a half ago. It doesn't matter. Man, it does smell West Coast-esque. Piney notes, resinous. Uh, it also has a old beer smell. It doesn't have the old beer head. It doesn't look ex like excessively soapy or nothing. But it does have that really earthy... Like, all the hop note is dead, and you're just left with uh, the vegetable-esque kind of a smell. Kind of a cologne, manly cologne smell, too. Help me. It does taste a little old. Uh, like I said, this is May... So, I'd hate to have this in two months. I really would. It's got a lot of bittering and dry notes to it. I got... A mixed mix 12 for 16 dollars so the only reason I chose that um, there was another mix 12 of Boulevard beers but I'd already reviewed two of the four I haven't reviewed three of the four and I I think I made the bad decision because I know on the other ones uh, it was like a Barry Noir uh, that was actually a pretty decent beer and something else I knew that I, I had that I liked I probably, and they were in cans, so I definitely would have liked that better. Uh, for the simple fact, I could stack them in my 
bridge. These I cannot. So, um, not too excited about this. Yeah, it's really <clears throat> kind of dry and, and bittering, hop forward, earthy. It's a little sweet. I wouldn't really say I'm getting citrus or anything like that. Or It's really dry. This tastes like something I would expect to get from like... You know, if you're here, around here in Oklahoma, Lazy Circles or Black Mesa, um, kind of one of those, or fucking Twist Spike, one of those middle-of-the-road breweries that, hey, I mean, I could be fucking in front of the brewery, <clears throat> and I would rather travel 20 minutes <clears throat> to some place I know is good and more expensive. <laughs> You know what I mean? This just isn't for me. If you like dry IPAs, earthy, slightly sweet, um, <coughs> it's congesting the fuck out of me, then hey, you know, stick your dick in it. Stick it up your ass and do jumping jacks. Go you. Uh, 3.74 out of 5. Basically, it got a 7.5 on my scale. No, 3.5. 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. Math. Um, no, I'm gonna say six. I'd drink it. I I would not go and purposely, you know, get this, you know, off of a big list of a, a say like a, a pizza place here or something. No, there's a lot of others. I'd rather have water. That's free. I don't want to pay for this. It's got alcohol in it, I guess. It'll make you thirsty. Is this video long enough? I can shut the goddamn thing off. Seven and a half minutes. We're good to go. Um, there you go. I gave it a six. It's okay.